Welcome back. Malware is a type of malicious software that can be used to infect computers and devices. It can be installed on their device by downloading a file, opening an email attachment, or by visiting a website that contains infected content. There are many different types of malware, but the most common ones are viruses, worms, trojans, and spyware. Viruses are software that infect your computer usually by making it work slower or disabling some functions. This is done so that a hacker can get into your system. A worm is a type of malware that spreads through networks by exploiting security vulnerabilities in operating systems or applications. A worm can go undetected for a long period of time, with the intention of infecting many computers without being noticed. Often, worms would include a virus component as well, so the way they spread is a worm, but the worm may have what we call a payload, which will affect your machine the same as a virus. A Trojan horse is a program that appears harmless, but instead installs malicious code on your device when you download it onto your computer. A Trojan is any piece of software that pretends to be helpful but does bad things when you're not looking. The Trojan can often grant a hacker a back door to your computer, which will allow them to do anything with it. Spyware is software that collects information about you without you knowing or giving permission for it to do so. Spyware can cause many problems because it often has the ability to collect information without permission. It can also share your information with other companies without your knowledge. A common type of spyware are cookies. Cookies are small text files that websites use to track you. It's how websites with shopping facilities keep track of items you add to your basket and allow you to check out and pay for those items. Unfortunately, unscrupulous websites can use cookies to watch which websites you visit and track what you do across those websites. That's how you can search Google for an item and then get adverts for that and similar items across other sites such as Facebook. To combat the threat of malware, you should use an antivirus program on your computer. Windows 10 has an antivirus program built in. It's called Windows Defender and generally works in the background without much interaction required. Watch for messages in the notification area. That's the area in the bottom right of your desktop for any messages related to Windows Defender. If you want to see more detail of the program, open the settings panel by clicking start, then selecting the cog icon. In the window that appears, type in virus and select virus and threat protection. From here, you can see if it has identified any threats in the past and what it's done with them, about them. When the last scan completed and when it was last updated. This should be within the last few days. New viruses are constantly coming out and you want to make sure your system is up to date as possible to recognize them all. Windows Defender will regularly scan your whole system looking for any threats in the form of malware. It will also scan any files and folders that you open as you open them to ensure they don't contain threats. You can, however, instruct Defender to scan files and folders manually. To do this, browse to the file or folder you want to scan and click the right mouse button while hovering over the file or folder. From the menu that appears, select Scan with Windows Defender. Your computer will now scan the selected item for any malware. Once complete, you will see a report of any threats that were found and how long that the scan took. Should your system find any malware, Windows Defender will usually quarantine the infected file or folder. This effectively locks the file away so that nothing can access it and you can select what to do with the quarantine item. It's usually best to delete it. If it's a personal file containing information you want to keep, you can try to clean the file. You should find an option within Windows Defender to do this. Do not open the file until Windows Defender has successfully cleaned the file. If you open the file before the malware has been removed, you can infect your whole computer with the virus. There are various paid and a few free antivirus programs. Generally, the free ones 
other than Windows Defender will try to get you to upgrade to paid version. The commercial programs often offer bells and whistles, which, although generally aren't required, can offer a greater level of confidence that your system is protected. Just remember that any antivirus software will need regular updating. I would suggest at least checking weekly for updates to ensure it recognises the latest malware. If you stop paying subscription fees for one of the commercial packages, this can have an impact on the updates you receive, so you may not be covered any longer. You should always make sure you have a working, up-to-date antivirus program. In summary, in this short lesson we looked at what malware is and discussed a few of the different types of malware such as viruses, worms, trojans and spyware and what the differences are between these various types. We then discussed antivirus programs including the free Windows Defender which is included with Microsoft Windows. I mentioned that there are other commercial programs available, some of which offer additional bells and whistles. But whichever antivirus program you use, it is important to ensure it is kept up to date to ensure it recognises all, including the most recent threats. I gave you a walkthrough of using Windows Defender to manually scan a file or folder on your system. Remember that as well as the regular scheduled full scan, Windows Defender will automatically scan files and folders as you open them, so it isn't necessary to manually scan everything you open as this is done for you. You may, however, wish to scan a file or folder that you are sending on to someone to ensure it is clean before you send it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.